we go. We're going to see again. what happens. Because, you know, I mean, you know how things are. What could possibly go wrong? Well, the Corgi left, so I hope you're happy, Troy. <gasps> oh, no. Did I do it? Did I scare the Korg away? I think so. Um, I do believe we are live. Hey, and I got my camera to focus on me this time. I like it. You look fantastic, by the way, oh, Crystal sweet. Frazier. I desperately and need blotting powder. Good God. You know what? I wish you would have told me because I'm, I don't even know what that is. So um, <laughs> I was going to make a joke, but <laughs> and I was like, careful. What is it? <laughs> It's it's just makeup. It's just makeup for people like me who have kind of shiny skin. Who? Oh, I am so shiny um, that it's one of my only superpowers. Um, yeah, if I want to go through and put on the full pancake makeup and a compact and all that. Oh man! I mean, I it helps, but I love pancakes. I mean, I feel like I'm doing a lot just putting on eyeliner and lipstick for you people. Nice. You know what? You look fantastic, and you really put... Um, I'll point out, Steve does not even put on the eyeliner. You know, he's so it's busy true. feasting on so, souls to keep so So going. low effort, it's not even funny. Well, friends, we... Ever, look at everybody. We've got... Uh, well, we've got uh, Charlotte. We've got Sean. We've got James. Uh, you know, James, who is commiserating with the Corgi. Uh, we've got <laughs> Raina. We've got... Um, well, Charlotte again. And then we've got... Um, Oh, Jacob's here. Uh, wow. The whole crew is lining up because you know what it is today. It's... Monday. It's my birthday. No, it really isn't my birthday. Oh. <laughs> my birthday is until December 18th, yeah. wink. Um, no, hey. it's Mutants and Masterminds Monday. <gasps> Just looking at my big stack of old RPGs like right over here, straining the shelf behind me and... One of these weeks, we've got to have me and Steve bust out like our favorite classic superhero RPGs. Oh, you say that when we were just so. Here's something else. <laughs> Nicole's here as well. Um, Charlotte's here again. Charlotte's here like three times. Alan's here. <laughs> um, we've got all the coolest people in the land and and growing. I can see people joining us as we join. Hey, folks, um, this is Mutants and Masterminds Monday. We come to you nearly every monday we try um and we've done a pretty darn good job of it actually i think we've missed mm -hmm. once for a holiday maybe another time because we just didn't want to no i'm kidding we were sick or somebody oh steve you got hit by a bus or, yeah, it was uh, probably because i yeah. broke my hip you <sighs> broke your hip because you were on that tandem bicycle mm -hmm. <laughs> it was never a good idea no yeah to folks um for you to know um that's Steve Kenson. That's Crystal Frazier. I'm your disembodied voice. I've been a little under the weather. Um, I was just at uh, Pooks here as well. Um, but yeah, so I was under the weather. I spent three days in sort of a light to no coma, um, uh, watching a lot of TikToks in a fever state. Um, oh, yesterday, no. well, yeah, I, there's something, <laughs> something's gone wrong. I'm telling you, there's songs and printed. TikTok to begin with. If you get to that point, you watch cooking YouTube, sir. Right? I really, I really should have done that because what I have imprinted on my brain right now, I need some help. <laughs> like I need an interpreter. Up, oh, Jonesy's here as well. Nice, a pook. Um, yeah, look at this. Uh, the gang's all here, and uh, today we have got. Um, we've had a couple things going on, right? We've mm -hmm. got. Um, oh, Casey's here. Casey's uh, a lot of. A lot of bookkeeping today. A lot mm. of bookkeeping. Yeah, this is our administrative episode. What we're going to be doing is mm -hmm. uh, spreadsheets. Um, yeah, so right. we're going to need everybody's name and social security number. Uh, yes. Mother's maiden name. Yes. Uh, <gasps> um, yeah, Sean asks, no packs online? Well, um, no. And not because we uh, don't like packs. We love it. Um, you know, but primarily um we're not there because the confluence of online trade shows and online conventions uh came in such a wave that we're mm -hmm. still kind of surfing the crest <laughs> like we're, we're still kind of getting our ducks in a row um so yeah. we're there spiritually 
also i didn't know what was happening <laughs> right they also kept that secret pretty well <laughs> yeah if not maybe emotionally or directly mentally mm -hmm. spiritually we're there <laughs> mm -hmm. for sure for sure um but yeah um we'll we'll be we've got some other um casey says not stealing my id oh well we will we'll steal what facebook already owns um <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> um but yes so um yeah administrative episode what the heck does that mean it mostly means we've got a lot of little bits of news and then a bunch of reader and fan questions that have been building up that we want to get to before we jump into another ill-planned adventure design episode <laughs> <laughs> i thought that was good i thought it was fun <laughs> Uh, it felt hey, something right. can be both good and ill-planned. Oh, that is very true. <laughs> yes, good. As my, my as my. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> so I love it. Um, uh, so yeah, folks, you know what this means is that when you are. Um, did I already say that I'm the disembodied voice for those people who don't know mm -hmm. who I am? Mm -hmm. I, I think you I must have. You're still um, high on those cold meds. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm so hopped up on some stuff. That it is just, I don't even know what they are. I just went into the kitchen and was like, this vaguely pill shape <laughs> in my mouth. Um, I think that was nutmeg. Mm -hmm. uh, it might have been. Yeah. Actually, it, now that I think about it, it was very festive. Um, <laughs> had a very holiday vibe to it. Um, hey, hello to Jameson. Um, I, folks, uh, as folks, sorry, as I'm learning to speak, you know, I bit my tongue just before we started. Oh. So, yeah, I, I need to apologize now. I'm not sick, but I had a bunch of wasabi with lunch, so I might still be sniffly. <laughs> <laughs> I love a wasabi. That is so good. Oh, you know, I'm growing real wasabi. Oh, nice. yes. I'm not not successfully, but no. yeah, um, it doesn't die, but it also doesn't thrive. So, folks, a little bit of uh, trivia for you. This will be on a test that will come uh -huh. later in the year, and the big grand prize is a trip to mars or something really good we'll figure that out um if you've got questions friends drop them in the channel um i will be relaying them uh to the team and uh we'll either make something up or um or actually honestly answer it um which is you know i think we uh we're pretty, yeah, we're pretty good score so far um now um if you, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm reading and talking at the same time. I forgot <laughs> how, mm -hmm. and then looking at your two lovely faces. And so I'm just, it's like uh, my brain uh, split in twain, twine, mm -hmm. twine. Uh, yeah, twine? well, I mean, I, the first thing we have to hit up is, yes, the print version of the Time Traveler's Codex is coming. It mm -hmm. is currently on a boat coming from China. The proverbial <gasps> slow boat. It is yes. legit on a boat. But it is on its way now. I, yes. I don't know how Seattle being declared an anarchist jurisdiction is going to affect our ports, but... Mm. Do we get like a badge or, a, or some kind of a banner? I think what we get is fewer human rights. <gasps> oh, geez. This seems so thin right now. Okay, well... Um... <laughs> Sorry, I kind of killed the momentum on that. Oh, not at all. I mean, it's just good to clarify that, we, you know, we're, we're criminals. Um, but uh, <laughs> so that being said, oh, yeah, yeah. So it, everybody, uh, Chris, let's say that just one more time, because I'm going to like actually play this clip over and over again. I'm going to send it to everybody who asks. <laughs> so the print copy of the Time Traveler's Codex is currently on its way from China. <laughs> Boop -a -doo -doot. <laughs> A little fanfare for you. <laughs> I appreciate uh, that. Also, um, here in Seattle, clear air. Yeah, clear oh, yes. skies, right? It's it's looking nice and bright and sunny right now, and it's not looking smoky and hazy. So That's why I have so much glare on my face. <gasps> <laughs> and you can kind of hear it in my voice. <laughs> um, but uh, David uh, pops out with the first question, and I think we should probably, <laughs> you know, give uh, David some kind of a badge or some kind of like a add a David uh, uh, kind of thing. Um, but uh, are there any fantasy style game worlds or source books coming out? It just uh, seems so appropriate. No, not really. Uh, yeah. Not for mutants and masterminds. We have a full mm -hmm. fantasy line for fantasy age and uh the dragon age role-playing game that are 
are both really well developed and have a bunch of support material, a bunch of adventures. Uh, we've also got Sword Chronicles, which is a slightly different engine, but is it has an open license. So there's freelance, not freelance, third party publishers third party. producing material mm -hmm. for that. Um, you know, when I'm thinking that, um, when I'm thinking about that, like all of the different lines and all of the different products, I'm, I am hard pressed to give you like the definitive list because there, oh, what is it? What? <laughs> what? How did he get in here? Look. We... Who we let me in here? <laughs> <laughs> we summoned the super surprise Sobel. It me. <laughs> it you. One of those jokey Smurf situations. <laughs> <laughs> I love so it. So rude. <laughs> so rude and so true. Um, I got to <laughs> tell you this. Will, you time that just perfectly. For friends who, um, as certainly you know who this character is, it's Will. Will is our... Um, you know, kind of the grand poobah of uh, marketing and communications and sort of uh, just being a handsome devil. And you that come bearing sure. facts. Mm, let's well, not get carried away. Yeah, right. Mere facts. <laughs> Do you what have I have are very, very strong opinions. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. That's a perfect place to share them. So, actually, you can speak a little bit to what uh, Crystal was just mentioning and which. Uh, David so very um, expertly led us to, which is what's going on in the world of releases for Green Ronin. Uh, releases are good. Yes, um, so sure. I think <laughs> I think I think the one that's on everybody's mind, right, is probably Time Traveler's Codex, um, which is like uh, I hate to say it, but kind of our COVID baby. Um, oh. um, it, 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 it is the, the book that has suffered the most, um, oh. because of everything that is going on. Um, and it, it was let's, kind of let's like, let's be fair. The vigilante's handbook is also suffering. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I think yeah. I, that's very true. Um, but I think that time travelers codex is suffering maybe a bit more front and center and Vigilantes is probably suffering in part because Time Traveler's Codex is suffering. Um, yeah, a little bit. I have to say, parsing the suffering of our releases was not what I had in mind today. But you know, well, that we're wasn't... talking about we're talking about releases. I think right. that the only fair way to do that is to talk about uh, the suffering, if you will. <laughs> That's true. And we did say this was an administrative mm -hmm. episode. So this is what we right. do. We sit around. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For Talk those of you suffering who, of our COVID babies who don't know, uh, like 90% of my job is just staring at spreadsheets and trying to make sense of, of all the information in those spreadsheets. Um, and so one of the things that I have to do is talk about our releases and release dates and prices, et cetera, et cetera. But you do um, it with glee. I I I do. Um, I love spreadsheets. Um, it's my favorite thing. Um, and I love like when people are like, "Oh, can you do that?" And I'm like, "Oh, Excel can do that. Don't you worry one second. You literally um, like, that's what I can do. Do do right. It's wizardry." Yeah. It's one of one of my favorite things early on in my job uh, with Green Ronin was that we were talking about the Expanse, um, which is super sci-fi and spacey, and we were talking about how long it would take at certain thrusts to make it from one planet to another, and mm -hmm. everybody was like, "Oh, we're gonna have to do the math and do all of this by hand," and I was like, "Don't you worry, Excel <laughs> has your back." Uh, and made a huge spreadsheet of what that looks like. Mm -hmm. but in, yes. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, in, the, in terms of releases in Time Traveler's Codex, to, to come back to what is pertinent, mm -hmm. um, Time Traveler's Codex is currently on a boat uh, to the United States. 
Jeans. You heard it third here. <laughs> you <laughs> you heard it third here. <laughs> um, you validate us, Will, and that's what we're here for. Validation. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy to do that for you. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so um, as far as, bless you, as, as far as releases go, um, Time Traveler's Codex is on a boat somewhere, and when it gets stateside um, is when Will gets to sit down with his spreadsheets and figure out um, how long it needs to take to get from, you know, uh, the coast to our warehouse to a fulfillment center to all of you wonderful people to our retail partners, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and all of those things take time. And so um, I wish that I had better news of, hey, it's here and I get to say <laughs> it's going to release on this day. Um, but that's not going to happen uh, right now. And it's also like the, the weird part is the later into the year we get because it is September. Um, for those of you keeping track at home. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Right now? Uh, it somehow? Is, it is somehow September. Uh, oh I'm, I'm going to call it like March 215th mm -hmm. um, is what Fair today bounce. is. I like it. Uh, yeah, that feels right. Yeah. And the further we get on in the year, uh, the harder it becomes for me to actually nail down a date for the book because um, since most of retail has this big boom uh for holidays right before thanksgiving uh and then most like distribution chains and retailers don't want me to send them stuff in the few weeks mm -hmm. after that um you i'd know. also like to add will that we've got an unprecedented um uh i will say debacle uh <laughs> with our uh usps Right. And shipping, mm -hmm. and we're looking at the elections coming up, and right. At, so you, all of that you, plays a role. You know, it's Correct. tricky when your immediate reaction is, "What unprecedented debacle is Troy talking about?" I literally right. was watching right. his face, no. and I can see him cataloging. He's like, "Okay, there's this is one, it, that no. one, this one." Is it, is it the plague? No. Is it, <laughs> is it the occupation? No. Is, is it, it the, the, the fires? The, that yeah. the West Coast is on fire? Right. Yeah. I mean, because it could that, be so many things. That also plays a role, right? Because um, oh my I, gosh, right! It actually does. Yeah, yeah, it, it for sure does. Mm -hmm. Because I can't say we're going to release on this day because we have uh, distribution centers and suppliers and retailers on the West Coast that they're suffering uh, delays in their uh, postal services even more than the rest of the country because their towns are on fire. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, we really need to get a handle on climate change because it's impacting my hobby gaming. Right. <laughs> could it, could this be the one thing that tips the scale, please? <laughs> right. Agreed. Uh, uh, thank you. Prior Fraser. Put that right. on a t-shirt. Um, but hey, Will, I've got some folks with questions. Um, did you want to finish answers. a thought? Uh, or do you want to no, answer? The, the thought was finished is just that uh, those are things that I have to uh, – pad my time in my spreadsheets with because i can't say we're going to release it on this day for the east coast and this day for the west coast um mostly because that creates uh huge problems for everyone involved uh yeah. and is a logistical nightmare so true but that's that. kind of mean <laughs> it yeah. is kind of mean uh so here's a question um, speaking of being mean, let's see if we can be mean to picking a random name. Not really. Raina. Don't give us permission. <laughs> yeah. Raina asks, will there be a soft copy release of all the Nether War modules somewhere down the line? I mean, funny you should mention that's actually something I was going to bring up with ownership later this week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Raina, you give us the fire to take it to the right. ownership. <laughs> So I, was, get... I was actually going to ask Will if he's seen any interest in print versions of Nether War. He yeah. has. Oh, yay. nice! So... And then Raina's worth at least one hundred interest points, right? I agree. And we'll just yeah. set the fans might... demand it. We and I mean, obviously, I if am... we collect it, we'll add extra material to it. Maybe some information on magic and probably an mm -hmm. extra adventure. Ooh, I am keeping fun. track of interest points on a spreadsheet, just oh. so that we're all clear. Raina, you made the spreadsheet. Just. just... <laughs> 
if it isn't obvious, when Will eventually goes mad, his supervillain theme is going to be spreadsheets. Yeah. Yes. When? <laughs> okay, oh, when no. you go mad enough to don a leotard and start hiring goons and start in similar crimes. colors. I'm yeah, not going right. to ask you to stand up, Will, but I have suspicion. <laughs> I, I'm also... I'm going to say that of the three requirements uh, that were just voiced, um, some of them are fulfilled, but I'm not going to tell you which ones. Oh, it's we like a puzzle. One, well, fans, <laughs> if you have an idea. I think we which... from the same supplier, Will. <laughs> <laughs> In bulk, perhaps. Um, Sean Vieira, how very dare uh, you uh, say, by the way, those, uh, I know I'm working on it. It's uh, um it felt right and then it just went wrong um by the way those of whom uh those whom have purchased the pdf of the time travelers codex might they get a discount on the hardcover when it made available uh so we we do offer the other way where if you uh well i guess it's a bundle like we offer a bundle mm -hmm. where if you pre-order the hardcover you will get the pdf for five dollars uh in we offer that for every book we do um and you will get access to the pdf right away when you do that so you're pre-ordering the print version of the book but you get the pdf right away there you go um i think go she's ahead. asking because the the pdf release happened well before the print pre-order because of mm -hmm. the unprecedented Things. disaster yeah mm -hmm. yeah so that <laughs> you see will getting squirrely is like well I, mm, yeah. so we the the problem with time travelers codex is that we put it up for pre-order before we really understood the impact of all yeah. of this um and like so to circle back to what i was saying about time travelers codex being the the covid baby the the star child here is that we actually uh, uploaded all of the files to print for Time Traveler's Codex mm -hmm. like in like the second week of March when yeah. people were like, hey, you shouldn't fly anymore. And we were like, oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense because, you know, there's a, you know, plague going there's on. There's a pandemic. Yeah, right. we thought, well, I mean, at the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, yeah. Like, like a little thing, like a SARS. Week later, um, it was like, mm -hmm. oh, we're closing down everything, you know? Um, mm -hmm. And so for Time Traveler's Codex in particular, it has suffered a lot. Yeah. yeah. So that is a long way of not getting the answer you're looking for, Sean, but we'll work mm. on it. Um, <laughs> uh, you, wow, Will, you have just um, really set the chat on fire with your Excel wizardry. Give it to well, me. Yeah, let me just read some of this stuff. Um, Who wants to learn how to VLOOKUP? <laughs> before I before I dive into the um, silly, I will say, Raina, coming in again real strong with the questions, will there be a pre-order for the print copy? Uh, of Time Traveler's Codex? Yeah, I believe not. it is already up. Raina, see how good we are? We anticipated yes, your question because... in the past, and now right. the future is yours. It has retroactively happened. Uh, I am going to double check that only because I don't want to be made a liar. Now, Reyna, we could be lying and we'll deny it. Um, let's see. You made oh. a liar, Will. Uh, he will. <laughs> Jameson says about Will, he will be made. He will be an Excel lent supervillain. <sighs> nice. I was very, very good. Of, right. I was going to make a joke right. about cell padding, but. Oh, that's a oh. good one. Right? Um, There's no cell that can contain him. <laughs> ah! Pook says spreadsheet afflictions. Uh, spreadsheet only the organized. Uh, <laughs> uh, look at this. Liz says, yes, fabulous people on screen. And it's what a nice are. voice, too. Oh, thank you, Liz. <laughs> Um, Will isn't a supervillain. Brian Scott Bailey says, Will, or Brian, you know the score. Mm -hmm. um, you Again, you need a costume and you need recruits who dress similarly before you're considered a super villain. For villain. Yeah. Right. Otherwise, you're just that, a villain. you're just a villain. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, you only see me on camera, so... Shoulders mm -hmm. up, right? I mean, seriously. True. 
Um, hey, uh, I know Sean. What we're all doing for Halloween. We're dressing as Will. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Such a good idea. Um, Why well, I can't think of, I can't even answer these questions or read them with that notion. I'm trying, I'm already thinking about where am I getting my glasses and I'm paint my beard on. Oh, you're just so distracted now. Silky hair. How much cold and... medicine are you on, Troy? Oh, so much, Crystal. How much you cold medicine? Even... All right. There. Well, let's let's talk more releases. We've got uh, Nether War Chapter Five, mm -hmm. theoretically coming out later this week. It it really depends on when we get it back from proofreading, which again has had some trouble due to the unprecedented disasters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. uh, our proofreader for that one is uh, in one of the areas afflicted by wildfires. <laughs> so. Hope he's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's also talk Josh. about uh, for a second the doom that came from San Francisco. Mm. Yes. Oh, upcoming Which fiction one? release. Oh, 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 oh the story. Yes. yes. Like, yes. Is that the fires? <laughs> you, that's Again, so that's funny. We keep tricking each other. Let's <laughs> <laughs> um, So um, we've had um, three releases in the Saba. Uh, which is our fiction line that uh, is set in Earth Prime. Mm -hmm. um, and so the fourth one is a novel. Um, it is the first in a duology. Um, and it is called The Doom That Came From San Francisco. Um, we're not talking about it a whole lot quite yet. Um, but um, it's going to uh, be releasing in the beginning of next year. Mm -hmm. um, and The Doom That Came From San Francisco is written by Richard Lee Byers. Um, mm -hmm. And he was a guest on our Fiction Friday stream. A Heck couple yes. Ago. Um, he also uh, just recently announced a Thor novel, which Ooh. is also pretty dope. Very right? dope. We'll link to that interview. One of, I mean, all the authors have been phenomenal to talk mm -hmm. to, but we really nerded out. Um, his, uh, you know, he's he's a great uh, a great interview and a great conversation was had. Mm -hmm. um, a quick question here: um, uh, folks are having a hard time finding the um, the pre order. We'll solve that. Uh, where we rather than roll through this process doing customer service stuff um will be sure i mean not that that would be fun this is the admin um uh, mm -hmm. episode but we'll get that information to you off stream um sean i i feel you my friend we're there we're here you um we'll never let you down we'll never <laughs> give you up um we'll never something something about no, something no 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 um, no no did I just sort of rickroll everybody? You, uh, yeah. you sort of yeah, tried. Kind of, yeah. I kind of tried, hate it. I think you we kind need of to... like trailed off. Yeah, yeah I, I think did. we need to scrub like, this stream. No more m, &M Mondays. Rick, you Rick stumbled. <laughs> Rick Astley, curse you. All the way from the 80s. Um, we do have a few other comments. Uh, here's a question for uh, everybody. And I know we, I'm, I'm going to guess we have an answer to this. I kind of know. Uh, m, m condition cards update? No, uh, they've been turned over. Accurate. They have We're... been for quite some time. Yeah, Dang. so that is out of the hands of everyone in this Indeed. particular chat room. Mm -hmm. um, it is something that is on my radar to ping the appropriate people about. Well, which will happen, your disembodied uh, voice can this say uh, the um, parties in question have been pinged. Um, they were pinged uh, a bit ago, and the uh, condition cards are in the pipeline. They are well aware um, uh, that uh, we are all anticipating their arrival. And the minute that we know some more uh, specific to details, but they are ready. Like we're, mm -hmm. we just need to, mm -hmm. and again, one of those sort of, um, when you think about, you know, the, the COVID and all the other things going on and this game of pinball, um, that was one of the balls just kind of got shot out of, uh, of alignment, yeah. but it's back in alignment and we'll have some specifics for you coming up, but it's happening. They are on the docket. Good. Rick roll with confidence. Yay. Thank you, Jameson. I appreciate that. Uh, Alan Kohler has a question. Um, speaking of 80s music, any Danger Zone slated to drop soon? Yes. Yeah. We do have 
I can't remember what's the outstanding one that we we haven't put up for sale yet, so I can't tell you which one it is. But there is there's already one in the pipeline. There's five more ready for layout, and by then the collected book should be ready, which will mm -hmm. add a whole bunch of new zones, plus an intro chapter about life in the city written by our own Steve Kenson, and also a like a final chapter of. Mm -hmm. A chapter three, Appendix, <laughs> uh, full of, of stat blocks for you to use that includes generic NPCs, including like as we collect them, some of the NPCs will probably be overrun uh, that we have to move to the index in the back. And, and then there's a bunch of new ones, including a bunch of monsters that superheroes typically fight. And I've, I've actually got the list right here. I've been putting mm -hmm. it together this week. And uh, I don't know, do we, do we want to talk about any of them? Do we want to well, take suggestions we... from the uh, audience? Well, that's a good idea as well. But uh, a couple things that I need to do. First of all, um, w can we all um, in, in sort of uh, unison say um, a bonjour to our friend from France who has just joined the chat? Ready? Ooh. A bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> um, uh, Matt, I believe it's Matthew. Am I saying that right, my friend? I'm probably not. And, and uh, hopefully you are not offended because I do it to everybody, especially people in the States. So i um, glad that you're here with us. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is uh, maybe we can give a very polite um, but enthused uh, clap, like a little golf clap for our link wizard who's just killing it today. Just all the links, all the links. Jay. Gray is killing it. Um, I think it was so exciting for Steve that he is he's frozen. Oh, we've lost Steve. He'll Steve be Steve down. There he is. Oh, there <laughs> you are. No, no, oh, he, sorry, just, my he just sort of passed out. Connection is not good. Uh, but you're back. Um, Steve, yep. if you wanted to um, uh, catch up, you could do a little uh, polite golf clap with enthusiasm for Jay Gray, the Link Wizard, who's killing Yay. it. Yay. Yay, or a, or a Jay, Jay hasn't been here this whole time. No, it, it, it's literally the entire time, and I have just been like, Oh, look at all these great magical links, and then forgot to mm -hmm. recognize you, Jay. And so, I'm, that's my bad. Um, let's see for folks who are listening in, um, uh, outside of all the shenanigans and welcomes and silly business, um, if you have questions about products or releases or those sorts of things now is your time to drop them in the chat um while uh, Jay's... excel wizard will is here to answer your questions mm -hmm. that's right i mean and honestly let's open it up and oh what we've got uh emmanuel from uh from japan slash italy whoa mm -hmm. that that's cool it's quite yeah. an international stream the show quite yeah. quite um uh, let's see. Jay Gary says you don't need to do that. Oh, but we do. We do. Um, <laughs> Dr. Horrible's freeze ray got Steve. Yes, indeed. Um, mm. Let's see. Danger zones would be a natural to make VTT versions. The maps would be great for fantasy grounds. <laughs> what an really? interesting suggestion. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Thank goodness we're... Thank goodness we're taking suggestions. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, You'll note that nobody's written that down. It may already be on the list. Um, or not. I don't know. It's, Sorry. It is, I'm realizing that came across as really mean-spirited, and that wasn't the intention. Is, no, right. not at all. It, not is, at all. it is not uh, supposed to be mean. It is uh, something that we have discussed internally um, already. It is something that will is working on and mm -hmm. we're it's going to be a process but it is on our to-do list and we if, assure if you will's on it there's a spreadsheet you right. know who it is so emmanuel at is, least one emmanuel is the mutants and masterbinds uh, uh kaizoku press italian licensor ah. mm -hmm. and you've been here before my friend i'm glad that you've joined us again um i need some help uh first we're gonna go with sean Vieira. um who just says Vigilante Handbook. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. The Vigilante's Handbook is the 
the book coming out after Danger Zones. It is, you know, a guide for running vigilante style games, very similar to how the Cosmic Handbook was a guide to running cosmic scale games. This is going to focus on your street level heroes, generally ranging from like PL5 up to PL8 or 9, mm -hmm. who may have powers, may not have powers, but generally the, the big defining feature is a world where you can't trust authority figures and you're kind of on your own for protecting your community. Hmm. Oh, nice. That's, topical. See, that's interesting. Interesting. Yeah, sounds like a fantasy. Um, also got a large gazetteer for uh, Ferroberg in it, mm -hmm. which is our, our sort of Iron Agey, vigilante-esque like, uh, was declared a federal district to help it manage giant economic setbacks mm -hmm. and has now uh, become a playground for the wealthy and also a place where the not so wealthy kind of suffer. Mm -hmm. It's a city that numerous people have had the opportunity to fail. Well, there it you go. Familiar. You can <laughs> it, it tastes familiar. That's how familiar this is. Um, I, I, I drew a little bit from Daredevil, the TV show. So ah, uh, that's what it is. That's, you're that's you're thinking of you're thinking of some Daredevil. Must be. <laughs> now I need a little help with this one. Jonesy says, um, "Is B R A G getting a P O D?" <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of letters there. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it is also not uh, mutants and masterminds. Well, we did open um, it up. It is. I don't know if we've talked about that yet, so stay tuned. There you go. Nice try, Jonesy, trying to more, break some More news. stuff about Blue Rose Adventurer's Guide is coming. Yes. Uh, yeah, I can patient. understand the confusion. Steve worked on both. Yes. Um, it is also, we've been talking about Blue Rose Adventurer's Guide quite a bit uh, in the last week, so mm -hmm. definitely... It is definitely something we will be talking about more, but you got to be patient with us um, because it's not quite ready yet. So Liz has dropped something in the chat, which is sort of, I, it's it's sort of, I guess you would call it like catnip uh, around these parts, but mm -hmm. very simply put. Very simply put, Troy cuts out. That right? was very simple. I was afraid that was just me. <laughs> nope. Anyway, Troy's gone. Time to post Maps. links. Maps? <laughs> <Question mark. laughs> How about now? Oh, he's back. Whoa. Did you hear that? I just blew my own ears out with that one. I'm like <laughs> laughing loudly and nervous. Um, Liz says, Maps? Question mark. Mm -hmm. Exclamation point. What? Will we be doing maps? Them? I mean, Danger Zones is full of Dangerous, maps. Danger Zone <laughs> is maps. Exclamation yeah. point. Liz, there you go. Um, uh, oh, uh, Reyna asks, will we be getting more licensed fiction? I quite enjoy the novellas. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Um, we'll of Mutants just... and Masterminds, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we were uh, just we talking were... about the doom that came to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. Uh, Which is have... the first in a duology, so we assure you that there's more than just that. <laughs> And it Duologies. also features some of my favorite characters that I've made up for the, uh, the mm -hmm. setting. It does. Any hintsies or... I need hintsies because I haven't read it yet. <laughs> oh, that's a good hint. Wait, so you're telling me you don't have an internal... You don't have a spreadsheet for all the characters I've contributed? <laughs> well, I'm hurt. <laughs> somebody somebody watching like that. I feel like I'm failing you... <laughs> I feel like you're failing me too. I have made a, I have made a lot of spreadsheets for you recently. I feel like this is probably one that I should have anticipated. Mm. <laughs> um, let's see. Emmanuel asks an interesting question. We get this every um, once in a blue. Um, I'll come back to you, Jay Gray, for sure. Uh, are there any plans with any can uh, established superhero franchise? in the making hmm. Hmm. i don't know if we can say anything about any of that established <gasps> um. established hmm. no we don't we don't cotton to the establishment here on mutants and masterminds <laughs> <laughs> i will i will that's fine i will i think we can say a thing mm -hmm. is okay. that you 
are going to be surprised <laughs> that there is a thing that the three of us. Mm. Oh, hey, this is a right <laughs> fortuitous. Oh, that's this why you slipped on. Um, there is a thing that the three of us are working on that you will get to see more quickly than you realize. <gasps> it's like a riddle and a riddle and a, it, the answer is I yes. Mean, <laughs> I'm just going to ask them to take that on faith. You know, they that's really I love thing. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Honestly, Holy just crap. just play that over and over again, mm -hmm. the whole exchange, and you will be in the dark, but you will potentially crack the code. Um, yeah. Jay Gray yeah. asks real quick. Sorry, did you want to? Do we want to do no, any more? No, no, no you're I don't like, need not, more. Go, not <laughs> going to do it. Um, Jay Gray says, Have you ever thought about making a supplement that puts players in charge of the local politicians trying to either help or catch superheroes or villains? No, hmm. that specifically, uh, hmm. I do know the the Vigilante's Handbook has some information on like how you as an individual hero start making a difference on a city level. Mm -hmm. You know, Jay this Gray, I wonder if had, politicians. had you ever thought about creating a game wherein, you know, like creating an adventure wherein that is some kind of something. Um, it's very interesting. I can't guarantee the introduction won't have a heavy-handed editorial by me talking about how everybody can be a hero by participating in their local government. It's mm. not like I have a track record of writing those. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, when Crystal gets spicy, uh, my my heart is filled with spice stuff. It is. Mm. It's filled with spice. Actually. Acid reflux? <laughs> is that what this is this whole time? What you is that warm feeling? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Believe me, I've been doing a lot of Tums. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, that's a really interesting idea, Jay Gray. Um, Alan says, uh, did, uh, hallway fight scene rules in VH then? <laughs> VH? Vigilante's Vigilante handbook. handbook. Oh, VH. How to, yeah. how to do fight oh, scenes sorry. in one long shot. <laughs> I like that. I enjoy that. Um, let's see. Okay, we're going to skip some of this stuff, but solidarity, my friend. Um, Liz says, yay. Um, well, this is interesting. Apuk asks, is it possible to write for Nisaba as a fiction author? It is, because that is the only mm. way. <laughs> Fiction gets written. Many, many people are doing yes. so, in fact. Um, we don't accept submissions in the, you know, the, it's the world, the literary world is just filled with concern and we don't want to accept a thing. And, you know, um, yeah, we, we don't take unsolicited submissions, but yeah. yeah. But I think that we could probably introduce you to a person who could speak to this um we'll talk more about that offline do feel free to reach out to let's play at greenronin.com um for all of your questions or weirdnesses or ideas or um harebrained schemes and we are happy to engage in those um uh, jacob says hire christopher west to make a game scale tabletop map as m, &M related products oh just like a city map that zooms into a battle scale map Mm -hmm. We actually saw a, uh, what did uh, Mike Webb build? Oh, when uh, he built his whole like city oh, diorama. Oh, right. Emerald City. He built of a Emerald, city, city. Emerald yes. city diorama. It was like yeah. two city blocks. It was amazing. Yeah. Where was this? Uh, I have um, to look, I'm going to look it up. Yeah. yeah. I, can, um, I, I, can, I have the pictures. I, you know what though, actually, let's see if Jay Gray can find it. Um, <laughs> Uh, John, I shouldn't yeah. be blogging or uh, not blogging. I shouldn't be googling that on the yeah. uh, air. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know that he put it in an easily findable place. Mm -hmm. Let's say. Let's see what Jay Gray comes up with, and yeah. if Jay Gray can pull it out, then he gets a trip to that diorama. Um, I wanted to run <laughs> demo games on that diorama. There. Right. That would be fun. So John Polajak says Steve seems to be indicating very tall bunny rabbits may be involved. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Use her as always. 
Um, thought, Maybe. says Sean, uh, superhero miniatures are hard to come by, but with 3D printing a thing, I yeah. might be willing to purchase some official SDL files of the Freedom League. Just a thought. That would be right. incredibly awesome. Yeah. We've That's talked about that. Cool. We'd have That's to a thought. Yeah, we'd yeah. have to recruit. And oh, actually, I do know an STL or a 3D artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we know talk quite after a, this. We yes. should for sure. Indeed. But Sean, look at that. You made Indeed. is is it and, happening? It is. Wow, you are and, in the tome of tasks. Yes. Well done. And you know, so talking we'll just about po publish the tome of tasks. <laughs> yes. like Crystal's to do list. <laughs> exactly. The ever scrolling. I've uh, got a miniatures and things that. like that. Troy, we need to talk about merch. Yes, oh, yeah. you, Steve, are literally my favorite co-host. I mean, all of you are my favorite hosts, but- uh, Wow, I think I'm right. offended. You, Will, are my favorite surprise guest. I'll take it. Like, it literally, no, number one. Mm, it yes. was, it was very <laughs> And well timed, honestly, I'm feeling pretty mm -hmm. good about that. Um, <laughs> it's merch talk. So here's the thing. We wanna make merch because we like merch, merch helps us keep the lights on and mm -hmm. helps keep this fun little whatever it is going <laughs> um the question i have is what kind of merch how do we want to do what do we want to make like we've talked about miniatures but like do you do we want t-shirts friends like how well, so do you want to suit up go ahead we have we have mutants and masterminds t-shirts mm -hmm. i am currently wearing one we have three mutants and masterminds t-shirts right oh four <laughs> And I uh -oh. own a few of those that I picked up at oh, last Gen year, year, years be year before last. Gen Gen there was yeah. a Gen Con that was in the meat space. Um, I went yes, to long, long ago in long the before ago. time. In the before time when we could have conventions. Right. Um, oh, Jonesy says hero point tokens. Okay, fair. That's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's actually surprising we haven't done yet because yeah. we do have conviction tokens for Blue Rose. Right. Oh, and they're gorgeous. Mutants and Masterminds has been around way longer. Those are really gorgeous too. Yeah. yeah. Well, Mutants and Masterminds is the the oldest child of the Green Rodin family, yeah, so it true. has to it has to be the responsible one who doesn't get cool stuff. It's true. Wow. Uh, Jay Gray asks, "Would you like me to make one as a concept and see if I can run one?" Yes. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And run we're not an talking SDL about miniatures. File or a hero yeah. At first, I thought it was SDL file, but uh, I think we're talking back to the. Uh, the sort of flip of the the inverse of the politicians foiling the heroes <laughs> and villains. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, so t I, I'm keen on t-shirts just because I'm a huge t-shirt nerd. Um, we could do some, I mean, this in itself, Mutants and Masterminds Monday has come up with, I think, a, no less than 50 or 60 t-shirt ideas. Mm, yeah. Know? Yeah, so write them down. Norm normally, like my go-to for merch would be like, we need dice. Like we need, like we have you and Jonesy hmm. both M and M themed D twenties. Yep. Yeah, I don't. That's such a small surface. I pitched those before and it never went anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just oh. like it's Jonesy... easy to put a logo on a D six because there's right. so much surface. There's yeah. Yeah. barely not so much. surface. Right. We could make like huge golf ball size d20s <laughs> that's what i'm thinking <laughs> <laughs> that's more what I'm thinking. dice equals more power right you can only use this if you're pl20 that's the, the that's bigger the, like, pl you get yeah. the, bigger the bigger the d20. die you get right? yeah, so the, yes. the little d20s are the uh like the hero high d20s and then Aww. you get some bigger ones for your scale PL10. up cosmic yeah. dice all right yeah. we did it we did it everybody Merch talk over. Let's go home. And done and done. Teeny weeny d twenties for your NPCs who are like, oh, right? Like, minions. Yeah, minion. Minion, minion dice. dice. <gasps> what if minions I... only got to roll a d eighteen? Oh. And she broke Will. They can't. They can't crit anyway. No. Right. It's wasted. <laughs> No. Oh, the ideas are coming. So here, listen to this. Um, okay. Mutants and Masterminds messenger game bags would be fun. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I mm -hmm. agree. Well, we do have a Redbubble shop where you can you can get some of our M M&M and M art on on things, things? like messengers, our uh, messenger bags. What yeah, if we yeah. had a Hero High specific messenger bag? That'd be oh, cool, Claremont right? Academy. Oh, Claremont well, Academy. Solid. Yeah. Yes. Claremont Academy. Claremont Academy dropout. 
Oh, what if you what if you got like a uniform, like a, a like a uniform Claremont Academy, like or you know, no museum. museum. Oh yeah, uniform. Well, I guess yeah. Yeah. no. Red like Bubble a, doesn't do full print T shirts. Like a polo. That's why we'll have to take it outside. Well, no, there's a really mm -hmm. great design uh, from a want to say Hero High for the Claremont mm -hmm. like school uniform or the, oh, yep. like, I want like, that superhero student uniform, which would make yep. a great T shirt, but we don't have a way of like printing hmm. on demand well we can figure it we well that. that's actually yeah that is like a full body t-shirt or not a direction for us to look in though okay. that mm -hmm. sure is um yeah so sean we do oh, have a uh, we do have a red bubble um we need to we need to do a, a little better kind of put in that front and center and we'll get on that for sure um yes to the oversized d20s by the way uh maybe superhero themed maps and miniatures and even mm -hmm. 2d minis tokens mm -hmm. yes sure. yeah yeah so uh, flat tokens or stand-up pawns ah. manuel uh answer that question that's actually uh, very interesting and maybe both but yeah like um, stand-up pawns personally paper yeah. minis mm -hmm. that's just me though <laughs> <laughs> i love this uh david says uh d20 with yeah as 20 and all as one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got a critical oh, yes. <laughs> Jay Gray, I'm sorry you failed. I'm certain we can find oh. that for you real quickly. You didn't fail. I'm sure that it must not be on the internet then. If mm -hmm. if Jay Gray couldn't find it, it can't be public. I am yeah. It's, is it even worth finding? I guess. Yeah, all I know is that I want to say Primus posted it in mm -hmm. in the work yeah. channel. Yeah. Um oh I okay. I saw it on Facebook. But. Okay. Okay. So there's some hints for you. Uh, Everybody's Jonesy says, "Everybody's gonna come over to Mike Webb's house and ask him to uh, ask to play on his <laughs> show up his diorama." <laughs> hey, minion, I've, minion decks? I've been there. Yeah. Minion decks. Ooh, that is a great hmm. idea. That is That's a good idea. Hey, who was the person that made the um uh the that made the uh, 3D two block image of Emerald City? What was the name? Mike oh, Webb. Uh, Mike Webb. Uh, Mike I've Webb. got the picture. I am okay. putting it in the. Do we have permission to share that? Uh, do do that? a share. Do a share. Oh yeah, oh, that too. Yes. Yeah, yes. do a. I do. Do a screeny sherry. Um, how about M and M themed? Oh, pea. Okay, I get it. Pea cheese. Uh, pea. Sorry, I just said uh, the pea. Uh, cheese uh, folders for Hero High. That is a solid idea. <laughs> So then you kind of keep your uh, your M and M papers and your character sheets mm -hmm. and things in. I love that idea. Everybody loves Hero High. We need right? to do more with it. Oh, oh. look at that! Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, right. Um, look at that. Like That's action that figure size. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Academy Maybe. letter jackets, yes, I like it. Digital tokens for VTT. Where? Oh, I'm comics. sorry, oh, right there throwing, by the box office. Yeah. Throwing you off your game here, but you are a star as always. Um, have you seen the insane 3D cityscapes David Oakham creates for his superhero games? They're nuts. No. 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 Um, have you seen the amazing uh, 3D renders that Alex Thompson? mix or alex thomas. Uh, thomas thomas thank you i always get those swapped uh that he makes for his uh intros to his his mm -hmm. let's plays yeah oh ridiculous we have got to check that out for sure um uh yes uh emmanuel i believe will is going to drop or has dropped i haven't seen it yet but we'll drop that image in the um facebook chat so that you can see it your own self um Oh, uh, Emmanuel also says M and M themed M and M's. Right. No. Well, they're here. No. Points. Sorry, we're only going to do M and M themes W and W's. Actually, w. Skittles. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah Edible sure. hero point tokens. <laughs> That's a Glad funny. I use those. <laughs> Will you are legendary? Jameson says no less than four Excel tabs open. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 seriously i need a notebook with the atlas of earth prime artwork also take one uh take one with freedom league group shot oh yeah yeah uh mm -hmm. please please mm -hmm. add to red bubble yeah cool. noted noted um 
Wow. Okay, so we have got more um, yuck Skittles. Oh my gosh, what? you Italians and your fancy taste buds. Well, chocolate Italians. I'm just saying, Skittles are delicious. Skittles um, are like the wine of candy. They are. Like you know, actually, <laughs> the first one is always the best, and the really you don't get much better than that. <laughs> and the last one's the worst. <laughs> That's because everybody saves lemon for the last one. Oh, I do. Yeah. At least it's not banana. Mm. Oh, I banana. throw the banana starbursts away. Oh, I would trash. I would. I, I, yeah. Banana starburst. There is like the tropical or like the the green package. No, any banana flavoring is just boo. Laffy banana. taffy. No. Oh, that's laffy taffy. All boo. right, all right. We cannot make enemies. Oh, we that's true. Fans. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm we sorry. Are, we I'm are going, drawing lines here. People are. I'm, I didn't realize up. that we were going for the Laffy Taffy sponsorship. My bad. Mm -hmm. No, I'm we're just, just saying, trying there's... not to alienate our Laffy Taffy oriented fans. Yeah, they ain't <laughs> Laffy about this Taffy. Right. Um, Raina says, I think a Villains of Earth Prime book would be grand, focusing on international bad guys. Good idea. Okay. That's a thought. Like those, there are certainly a lot of villains in Earth Prime already. But... Yeah. Like those pesky Italian taste buds. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Player friendly primers for Freedom City and Emerald City. Okay. okay. That, that seems. Uh, Is there a primer in the. A primer? Well, they, start? they both have like little tourist guides to give you a mm -hmm. quick overview of the city. Right. I came from Jonesy, and Jonesy's in the nosy. So, I, Jonesy, elaborate if you don't mind. M&M um, &M energy drinks. Yes. I need I need. I'm that. in. Yeah. Red Bull sponsorship. Ah, Liz once says, we get that Red Bull sponsorship, then that. I'll have wings. Mm -hmm. Then we can fly. My, my transformation us? into supervillain will be will complete. complete. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Uh, Laffy Taffy is a great villain name, says Liz. Of course, mm -hmm. that's a good That would be Will's like supervillain rival, actually. Oh, right. I like that you built me a whole mythos. Cannon. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I do. This is, <laughs> what it is legit. <laughs> it is legit what you do, like, for a living. Um, wow. Okay, listen, friends. This has been an absolute utter delight. I'm telling you, I spent the last three days um, on, it wasn't really my deathbed, but it was not my life bed. <laughs> um, it was not and, pleasant. No, yeah. but knowing that we'd be able to hang out with y'all and uh, to have uh, time to spend with Crystal and Steve and our surprise, super surprise Sobel, um, it gave me life. I've risen from the grave to say, um, Jacob Blackmon, Eminem, Lego figures, yes, please. And also... Yeah. So, Jacob, if you know someone over there at uh, Lego, uh, then Wait, so Lego I should, just, I should just reject this Mega Block sponsorship. Yes. <laughs> what? Yeah. Is are those, is that still a thing? Do they? Yeah. <laughs> They're they like do the... all the Ninja Turtles Legos that I have all over my office. Oh, see, you got to be That's careful. Who you... Mega Blocks. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, <laughs> Mega Blocks is sort of the Oreo of Hydrox, right? Is that how that works? No. Hydrox of Oreos? Break that, reverse it. Yeah. Well, Hydrox yeah. came first, and then Oreos came, I don't That's know. kind of like saying, uh, I don't know, it's like the whole Band-Aid thing. Mm -hmm. Band-Aid's Band a brand. So clearly we're going out on one of those weird conversations. Oh, <laughs> we goodness, are, yes. as we are often wont to do. Um, but listen, friends, uh, oh, Jay Gray, I swear, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send you like, I'm going to send you a, um, an internet. Like I'm just going to pack it up and I'm going to ship it out to you. Um, you, uh, Jay Gray says, I've gone through all the photos I can see on Chris Primus's Facebook photos. <laughs> um, we, Oh, heard... I, I, I did put the picture in the, Oh, um... Jay saw that, but he, okay. Yeah. I guess bound to personal. determine to find it. This is personal. Apparently. So whomever made that better put that on the internet because Jay so will it, not I guess stop. we're leaving this this sneak peek for, for Danger Zones just on the table for a future episode. <gasps> wow. No, wait a minute. Do we want to... I mean, I mean, let's... we... 
you you had so many questions that we had to we had to skip it. Do, I don't think we should skip. Do you think we should maybe squeeze out a couple more minutes? Yeah, okay. I don't I don't know. We're gonna have to leave that up to the fans. Yeah, and they probably well, they probably don't care. Nobody nobody really feels strongly about cryptids anyway. Uh, right. That's true. Yeah, you you folks don't want to see the sneak peek. Nah, business. I mean, it just seems like a real waste of time and nobody honestly. wants their own personal feedback like put in a book so no I mean, that's just no. it's embarrassing it's like when your mom puts photos of you on her facebook page yeah 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 i no it seems like now very uh, okay needles moving a little bit i <laughs> sure uh <laughs> okay that's what i'm talking about aj real comes in hot with cryptids mm. So, um, so sure. I mean, I guess let's see. That's one, two, three, four. Um, Sorry, we needed five. We needed five. I guess that's uh... okay. Raina says, "Please." Oh. <laughs> and I bring it at home. Bring it at home. Well, I guess I, I guess we're obligated now. I, right? Yeah. <laughs> A poop is uh, in tears. So yeah, yeah. We can we can talk about the cryptid section. I mean, it's. It's, I mean, superheroes like to fight monsters that don't exist. And like the Game Master's Guide has, what, your gargoyles and your dragons and your, your giant blobs. Mm -hmm. So we, sure. we thought we'd go with more modern monsters. So we've got, uh, we've got the Slender Man in there. And, mm -hmm. and took a poll on the, on the Twitters. And people apparently really like Math Man, which, I didn't think he was oh encrypted. He was just on Square One TV, wow. but <laughs> so we're thinking? we're gonna put Math Man in uh, in danger zones. Crystal, <laughs> is it me? Am I Math Man? Are... <laughs> <laughs> Did you not watch Square One? You are clearly the type, right? Oh, no PBS program audience. about math. But there's hey. there's a skit they did, a recurring skit that was making fun of Pac-Man. But it's Jacob, Math Man, and he has to go around and eat equations. Jacob says, I just wrote up modern cryptids, Florida Man on my paper. Oh, uh, Florida Man, yes. All right, as a Florida woman, I take offense. <gasps> do you? Jay Real is doing a little bit cartwheels all around. But we do have <laughs> it says Math Man, my childhood. So yes, obviously I am. I am alluding to Mothman, but, mm -hmm. but oh, I see, can't let a joke little die. Typo. So. Um, so it's not me. No, it's not. Jameson says, "Well, that's would good." We, would we, we tell you if it were though? Wait, he's a, he's a divisive Wait. character. You can't let a joke die. I, I cannot. I just can't. <laughs> no. Crystal. Mm -hmm. We exchanged like fifty titles of that running gag before we gave up. <laughs> I never gave up. <laughs> <laughs> in, my, in my heart of hearts, that joke is still going. I'm so sorry. This is your little uh, little window okay, into gonna, Green Road. I'm going to put Will down as a cryptid for the mm -hmm. uh, cryptid section. Right. I like so it. Will Sobel. There we go. Mm -hmm. One L, if you saw my interview yes. today. One L. Yes. It's like, it's like Spider-Man. You have to get the hyphen. <gasps> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very important. There's a hyphen between Will and Sobel. <gasps> <laughs> uh, uh, are we looking for any um, uh, Will Mathnet? Okay. <laughs> <But, laughs> I mean, the Sasquatch is an obvious choice to throw in there, and and gamers need an excuse to fight a giant ape man. Do so, they really, though? I don't think they, they do. Don't. Okay, they need stats to fight a giant. Yes, ape. they do. <laughs> That's they true. Do. They don't need That's... an excuse. They just need stats. And and of course, your chupas cabra. <gasps> yes. Your chupas cabra. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I gave me the giggles. Um, are, do we want to um, ask? Uh, I need to get a hold of myself. Sorry, the Chupas Cabra uh, just about sent me over the edge. Um, mm -hmm. Do we want anything? Uh, any suggestions or input or yeah. some other thoughts? I'm always happy to take some input. I cannot guarantee think? it'll make it in, especially if it like hues close to a bunch of other concepts that are already in. Like, mm -hmm. there's a hundred variations of the Sasquatch. So right, yeah. And uh, I mean, well, fearsome critters are my favorite, like weird Americana thing. So a bunch of them are getting tossed in there, even though they're not well-known cryptids, like your timber cat and your hide behind, which actually already showed up in the Time Traveler's Codex. Mm. You're flat. 
Well, uh, have you heard of the, um, there is a, I, and I will be perfectly honest and everyone don't be, oh, Spring Heel Jack. Mm. Oh, I don't think I have a Spring Heel Jack down. There's a what? Of course we have Jack and Knives. We Ooh. do, but he doesn't really jump. He's more no, of a Jack the Ripper. Thunderbirds, Jersey Devil, Wee Diego. Wee Diego? Wendigo. I think that's Is the that Wendigo. Like a... I used to work with oh. the Wendigo. <laughs> you used to work with the, you worked with the Wee Diego? I worked with a guy named Diego who was, who was like an adorable travel size. Right. Aww. Oh, we Diego. He's the friend for Dora the Explorer, right? <laughs> That's true. Yes. Uh, Skunk Ape, is that uh, Sasquatch? <laughs> okay, just speaking as a Florida girl, Skunk Ape is just a Sasquatch with an aura effect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like an area yes. affliction. I need a Florida to Sasquatch, as it were. Let's see. Um, a Winnebago? Still... That's not a thing. Still Wendigo, I think. Uh, oh, and then a Wendigo. A Mandingo. A Skinwalker. We actually almost went with a Wendigo for the Time Traveler's Codex, but it feels mm. a little, like it feels bad to appropriate American, Native American mythology, especially right now. Like if we, mm -hmm. if we had more Native Americans on staff who could make sure we did it respectfully, Properly. then... Yeah. Absolutely, but just as a like a one-off thing to fight, it feels kind yeah. of insensitive and yeah. opportunistic. It does. <laughs> kind of, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, I do. particularly uh, in books that are not focused. Yeah. On right. on that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, New York sewer crocodiles. I mean, we have we have stats for alligators. Mm -hmm. Not giant mutant ones, mind you. No, but... we have giant mutant raccoons and giant mutant rats. Okay, mm -hmm. Apuk uh, makes mention of, uh, but it seems a little bit like a, maybe a swear. So, so apologies if I offend. Chud. Oh, chuds. <laughs> chuds already showing up in the sewers chapter. Mm -hmm. Take that, you chud. Um, let's see. Well, uh, not by that name specifically, name, because trademark law but, right. but a, uh, some sort of cannibalistic underground dwelling humanoid liz court says thank you for that crystal and yeah um i truly appreciated that the uh sensitivity and the understanding and the respect um yeah, we're that's important. trying i'm not gonna say i'm great mm -hmm. at it but i'm gonna say i'm gonna try and do better yeah fantastic um well jonesy says ozark howler Ozark Howler. I don't even know that mm. one. I don't either. Uh, Someone. Oh, who Jay Gray says Ozark. I have no idea what that is. Oh, you see, that's so funny because Jay Gray says, as an Ozarkan, that is scary. Huh. Mm. Okay. Well, we have to I check mean, that out now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right then. Oh, I... but I got a couple more, and then we're gonna kind of wind it down. Um, but Jameson says, uh, "Bring me on, and we can do the Filipino monster Manananan Nagal." Mananan, hold on, I'm gonna get it right. Yes, we're gonna have to teach Troy how to say it first. Yes, mm -hmm. I I was probably pretty uh, flawless, right, Jameson? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Apuk says, oh, uh, the related but untrademarked Kahood. <laughs> <laughs> the Kahood. Kahood. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, um, I will say we, we are going with a cosmic horror to throw into this chapter as well, even though that's not really encrypted. Mm -hmm. And it's it's not your full, like, ancient entity because we have that in the Game Master's Guide, but we don't really have minion level right servants for those ancient entities so we might Small, need something with ominous things yeah yeah something with a lot of tentacles and a lot of mouths and some some like inordinate number of eyeballs Ooh, like joseph's suggestion do do da do do is that a thing are you making that up <gasps> no am i just reading random crap out of the chat here and it's not even as opposed oh, to gosh. what you got me Joseph. yeah, yeah <laughs> right. yes yeah. We, we've gotten to the part of the stream uh, 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 we'll where say Roy just reads everything <laughs> The uh, main, the main Tangelo. And what is this? Pamela. The main Pamela. No, that's Pamola. Pamela. 
Is it Pamela? Are you just make, having us make fun of Pamela? That's rude. Um, what oh, is Japan. happening? I don't know. I'm I'm reading this stuff. It there. It's coming so fast. I'm just very, <laughs> oh no! People I guess have I strong I, feelings on cryptids. Right? Yeah. Right, what do you want your superheroes to punch? Because we're not going with the Japanese ghost that lives in the toilet. Nope. <laughs> I, I am I five. I still swear. punch toilet ghosts. <laughs> Not punching toilet ghosts. No, nope. there are lines. <laughs> I see what I'm going to do for the next super noise fight. Um, <laughs> uh, Jonesy says, totally not deep ones. Um, Liz says, tentacles and mouths, my favorite thing to draw. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, well, so listen, we have we have gone we have gone well past. We even started on time. Oh, we've gone well past. Yes. Well, yeah. We've yeah. Yeah. Well, well, he's already. We already have mummies in uh, the museum. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, El Gato Mamon, Cat King. Ooh, um, like cats who are kings of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Slide Rock Bolter. That sounds like a band I want to play in. What's that? Um, what's that one from Wisconsin that's kind of invisible? Ooh, the cheese burglar. <laughs> no, that's me. That's <laughs> the cheese juggler. I mean. That's also me. Right. Are you all the cheese monsters? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All cheese related cryptids belong to Green Rooney in any way. I mean, <laughs> that, that Trade, is trademark. true. Long right. established. <laughs> Long established. Who? Um, you can tell that I have been trapped away from the world for a good span of time. Mm -hmm. More and than it's anything, good to we be... can tell you've taken a lot of cold meds today. <laughs> that is, you know, honestly very true. So I'm a little hopped up. But um, we're going to end with this. Um, Will, always a dang pleasure. And Crystal and Steve, um, truly, uh, you uh, start my week off right every week. Um, and when we don't do it, you know, it's funny. When we don't do this live... We just have our own little private Mutants Masterminds Monday. And um, <laughs> yeah. And then this show, actually, when we stop, it goes on for another two hours. So <laughs> imagine what you're missing um, in the interim. The after party. If you, exactly. It is sort of the after party, then the after after party. But if you've got ideas, you've got thoughts, you've got hopes, you've got dreams, send an email to letsplay at greenronin.com and take a look at this corgi. Oh. Did we already tell the Mr. Bill story? Oh, that was the other one. That's our little yeah. black corgi. Look at that cutie. Mm -hmm. She's like, hmm? <laughs> Cookie? Hi, baby. Yeah, you can be good. Um, I do want to say um, none of this would be as enjoyable or as wildly weird and careening off into unknown directions if it weren't for folks who are watching and folks who are hanging out with us. It really means a lot. Your thoughts, your contributions, yes. Um, your thoughts, your contributions, uh, keep the engine moving and really lend to our energy and our goofiness and fun. Um, you know, and this is serious fun. We're here because of you and we enjoy this little adventure every Monday and we're looking to the future to do other stream things. I'm looking at you, Will. And, um, oh, a cryptid, a cute one. I like it. Um, thank you to Jay Gray, Link Wizard. Um, thank you to everybody who's been uh, hanging out with these phenomenal questions. Uh, think on your questions. Come back here. Um, I have an award to give out to uh, Jameson McDaniel. You had, you shared the best puns of this particular episode. So congratulations. <laughs> you get, you get fifteen. I consider that a challenge. Challenge. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry, no, Jameson. I, should. I'm actually setting you up for a future battle um, with your nemesis and villain, Super Surprise Sobel. <laughs> what is your villain name? I don't know. Did, it, did We'll have to do that next time. Yes. I'll get, All right. I'll well, get an actual on that. Um, yeah, think on that. And if you happen to be really good with like tentacles and uh, other things, uh, draw Will with a bunch of tentacles and things coming out of his uh, villainy body. <laughs> And um, thank you so, yeah, Jameson's down to a clown. So watch yourself well. Uh, thank you, everybody. This will be the end of the, of the stream. Um, we will see you next Monday. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>